Hi, welcome. Come inside. So I'm going to take you on a little tour of the studio and show you the process that we go through from start to finish of dyeing our wool. Uh, this is our stock room and uh, it uh, is where we keep all of the raw material stock before it gets dyed and this is Elmarie and Hi. she manages our online shop and is kind of our studio uh, supervisor, organizer, uh, makes everything come together. Uh, we're going to move down to the wool and I'll show you how the whole process works. This is Naluvo, and Naluvo winds all of our skeins for us. So we buy the wool from a local spinner and it arrives on a cone, undyed. And from there we have to wind it into skeins so that we can put it into the dyeing process. And that's what Naluvo is busy working on here. One of the most important parts of this process is how you tie the skeins uh, once they're finished winding on the machine because if they come in untied in the dyeing process you end up with a huge tangled mess. This is Nonero and she's one of our dyers. Um, you can see she's busy mixing up uh, colour recipes here, uh, using the dye powder um, with her recipe book. Uh, and getting those ready for a day of dyeing today. On this side, uh, Busiswa is busy uh, starting to dye some of our multicolor skeins. So these are done, uh, she'll lay the skeins out in the trays and then we use little droppers to apply all of the different colors. So all of the dyeing happens here and once the wool is dyed, um, everything gets washed, uh, some by hand and some we have a, a top load washing machine that does that. Um, it then gets hung out to dry when it's very wet and once it has stopped dripping, um, it will come over to this area here where all of the skeins hang to dry and you can see uh, we do multi-colours and solid colours. Um, the solid colours get wound into balls, which is what Cynthia is busy doing over here. So all of our wool balls are hand wound. Cynthia is very, very good at this process. It's not an easy job. Um, Zamasa is here, she's busy twisting skeins. Um, when they come out of the dyeing process, they look like this um, and they need to be neatened up, uh, have the, the ties trimmed, and then they get twisted into, into nice skeins that look like that. And that is what Zamasa is busy doing over here. So once the skeins are twisted, um, they come over here for labeling and packing, and that's what Makai is busy doing, and getting uh, a bunch of these skeins ready for one of our orders. Follow me this way. Uh, this is Charmaine, who is our administrator and takes care of all of the financial and HR admin, and we definitely couldn't run this business without her. And then I'm gonna take you through to the shop. Sarah uh, runs the shop and she's very good with colour and project ideas. Um, we've got lots of uh, yarns and, um, and ideas and patterns and samples and things here to show you, like this one that I'm wearing, um, which is uh, one of my new pattern designs. It's called the Good Karma Shawl. Um, give you a little uh, and um, uh, the colourway that it's knit, the sample's knitted in is called Karma Chameleon, which is where I got the name from. Um, but I think we could all do with a little bit of good karma. So while we're here, um, one of the things that we do is, uh, is like to be able to explain to people the whole process. And so here I've got some little samples um, that you can see that that's what the wool looks like uh, in its raw form before it, when it, just when it's been sheared. So this is merino. Um, and you can see that the merino has got a lot of crimp, this little kink, which is what makes it elastic when it's spun. 
Um, once it's been cleaned and combed, that's what it looks like. And then it will be spun into yarn from there. And it's quite different from mohair. Um, I haven't got any dirty mohair, but um, here you can see the two different fibers together, um, how much uh, shine and luster there is in the mohair, which is one of its unique properties. And then we've got lots of lovely yarns. Um, these are some of our multicolor yarns. Uh, that's what Basiswa was busy working on um, in the dyeing area. And we have started doing quite a lot of work on developing knitting patterns uh, and samples that people have ideas of what to do with the yarns. Um, like this one I'm wearing, uh, this is one of our very popular um, projects. It's the um, I've Got Sunshine Shawl, so we have knit kits and things available and all of those are developed here, a um, combination of me and my team. And uh, over here you can see where some of the inspiration starts um, in knitting swatches, playing with ideas uh, and colours and combinations and allowing those to unfold into, into something concrete. So if you're ever in Cape Town, please do come and visit us. We don't mind if you make a special trip, we think we're worth it. And uh, otherwise you can order online, uh, you can follow us on Instagram and on Facebook, and I do regular Zoom sessions as well. Sign up for our newsletter on the website so that you know more about what's happening. And we look forward to seeing what you've done with our beautiful yarns.